Hello, hello, hello. Can you listen to me? Hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but I have some problems with the internet connection. So let's finish the class. Let's continue. We were in the last topic and we were talking about quantifiers. That is the last topic for this review. So let's continue, please. Thank you so much for waiting here. So then we were talking about this quantifier, all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few and few, and also no one. And so all students, can you complete these sentences? All students, some families, few couples, give me some ideas, all students. ¿Cómo podríamos completar esa oración? Todos los estudiantes. All students. Who wants to try to complete the sentence? All Most. students having an intelligent phone. Okay, excellent. All students have a smartphone. Very good. Ileana, what is your idea? Uh, I said must. Okay, most students have smartphone. Okay. Um, no, yo decía la otra. Which one? Okay, la de families. The first one, families have only one child. Most families have one child. Oh, most families have one child. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you, Liana. But what about this? All students, podemos completar estas oraciones? Then, then he said, all students have a smartphone. ¿Cuál podría ser otra opción? All students fail math, for example. All students. Hey, nearly, ne nearly all. Nearly all students fail math. That's terrible. Casi todos los estudiantes no aprueban matemática. Eh, veamos estudiantes que les gusta educación física según su opinión ¿cuál sería el quantifier? todos muchos pocos most students like it um, physical education physical class. ok ok most students like physical education class. Then I have here some families. Some families, let's see, have a house. ¿Cuántas familias tendrán una casa propia? A lot of, a lot of uh, families have a, a house. Okay, excellent. A lot of families have a house. Now, few couples. Eh, have children. ¿Qué porcentaje de parejas que se casan tienen niños? I have here few couples have children. En su opinión. Many. Many couples have children. Ok. ¿A cuántos niños le gustarán los dulces? I have many. Many children like. Nearly all. They nearly all children like hand. Most women. ¿Qué porcentaje de mujeres son enojadas? I write most. What do you think? Nearly all. Nearly all. Nearly all. Yes, nearly all. Okay. ¿Qué porcentaje de chicas les gustará la música? ¿Cuál podría ser el quantifier? All girls like most. music. Most. Most girls like music. Ok. La única sección en estos quantifiers es no one. Y todos ellos van seguidos de un nombre. All students, some families, few couples, many children, most women, nearly all girls. 
and no many women, no many boys, excepto no one, que va antes de un verbo. No one gets married. No one plays soccer. No one gets married for the age of 18. He said, no one failed the course. Nadie reprobó el curso. Entonces, solo no one es la excepción. And I have this other quantifier here. Those quantifiers también los utilizamos para nombres contables y no contables. Como ya hemos visto en la... It was a message of David. So only with countable nouns. Hay algunos que los utilizamos solo con nombres contables y responden a esta pregunta. How much? Los utilizamos para responder esta pregunta. How much? How much money do you have? That is uncountable. So how much milk do you want? Then you say a little, a bit of, a great deal of, a large amount of. So uncountable nouns. Remember, we're going to use a little, a bit, a great deal of, a large amount of. Hay algunos que los utilizamos con ambos, nombres contables y no contables. Y we have how much or how many. Tenemos ambas preguntas. How much para no contables, how many for countable nouns. Then we have none, no, none, no any, some, a lot of, plenty of, and lots of. Estos quantifiers podemos ocuparlos con ambos nombres, contables y no contables, en solo con contables. Estos van a responder a la pregunta, how many, cuántos, a few, a number of, several, a large number of, and a great deal, a great number of, so, I, let's see some examples here. Oh. Aquí está el significado de cada uno de estos quantifiers y cómo los vamos a utilizar. Many, recuerden, many lo utilizamos en preguntas y en oraciones negativas. Much para preguntas y también para oraciones negativas. Some, son lo vamos a utilizar en afirmative and question. Any para oraciones negativas y preguntas también. None para responder acerca de cantidad, para decir nada. A lot, en lots of, afirmativas y negativas, oraciones afirmativas y negativas. So, let's see this. Can you complete this exercise? Complete the sentences about your country. Use the word in the book. All, nearly all, most, a lot of, some of the few. Let's see number one. Young people go to the university. Here in El Salvador. ¿Qué porcentaje de jóvenes van a la universidad? Then you can choose those options. All, nearly all, most, a lot of, some, few, o ninguno. No. A lot of. A lot of. Okay. Can you say the complete sentence? A lot of young people go to the university. Thank you so much. Now, people that study English. ¿Qué porcentaje de personas estudia inglés en El Salvador? Some people study English. Okay, yeah, some people in every couple have more than five children. Parejas casadas que tienen más de cinco niños. Few. Few married couples have more than five children. Eh, ok, thank you. Elderly people have part-time job. Personas mayores que tienen trabajo de medio tiempo. Bien. What do you think? ¿Cuál es el porcentaje? All, nearly all, most, a lot, of, some, few, or no. No, many. Not many. Not many. Not many elderly people have part-time jobs. Students have full-time jobs. 
estudiantes que trabajan tiempo completo? Most. Most students have full-time jobs and children go to school on Saturday. Porcentaje de niños que van a la escuela los días sábados en El Salvador. No children go to the school on Saturdays. Ok, excelente. Ninguno, ¿verdad? Ningún niño va a la escuela en sábado. No. The right answer there. Ok, then we are going to finish here the class. Do you have any question? Ok, so as you know, tonight is our last class, right? So do you have any comment for the class, for your classmate? Comment? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Ok, great. And it has been a pleasure, right, to be with you all this night and during this course. It has been an honor to me to be your coach. Uh, thank you for your help during the exercises and for your participation, for your attention. And congratulations, right? You have already completed this English course. Uh, everybody can already see the diploma. Ya todos. Yes, yes I have. Que tienen acceso yes, a su diploma. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Ok, that's good. Yes, teacher. Ok, yeah. I will miss you, right? So, I hope that you continue learning this beautiful language, which is English, and dedicate some time to practice, watch movies, listen to music, podcast, as Benny said, that he likes podcasts a lot. So, Let's continue practice, right? And remember that, right? The most you practice, the better you are going to be speaking English. So thank you so much. It has been a pleasure. And see you around, guys. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Good night. You're welcome. It has been a pleasure. Thank you, teacher. See you later. See you around, Denise. Take care. Bye, Donel. Take care. Nice to meet you. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.